Let's talk about reciprocals and what they are. Reciprocals are two numbers that when multiplied together equal 1. For example, let's take the two fractions 1 half and 2 over 1 and multiply them. Multiplying the numerators 1 times 2, we get 2. And multiplying the denominators 2 times 1, we also get 2. So the product of these two fractions is the fraction 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. Because 1 half and 2 over 1 multiply together to give 1, they are reciprocals of each other. So we can state that 2 over 1 is the reciprocal of 1 over 2, and 1 over 2 is the reciprocal of 2 over 1. You can probably tell from the previous example that if we want to find the reciprocal of a fraction, we simply flip it, or switch the numerator and the denominator. So the reciprocal of 2 over 1 is just 1 over 2, or 1 half. Any number divided by 1 is just equal to the same number. So if we want to find the reciprocal of a whole number, we start by dividing it by 1 to make a fraction. For example, if we want to find the reciprocal of 3, we start by dividing 3 by 1 to give the fraction 3 over 1. We flip this fraction to give us the reciprocal. Flipping the fraction 3 over 1 gives us 1 over 3, or 1 third. So the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. Similarly, the reciprocal of the fraction 1 third is equal to 3 over 1, which is also equal to the whole number 3. Remember, reciprocals are two numbers that when multiplied together equal 1. So we can show that 1 third and 3 are reciprocals of each other by multiplying them together. When we multiply them, we see that the 3 on top cancels out the 3 on the bottom. So the product of these numbers is just 1, which shows that 1 third and 3 are reciprocals. Let's say we want to find the reciprocal of a mixed number. We start by converting it to an improper fraction. Then we flip this fraction to get the reciprocal. Let's do an example. Let's say we're asked to find the reciprocal of the mixed number 7 and 5 6. The first thing we do is convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. The denominator is 6. To find the numerator, we go 7 times 6, which equals 42, and we add the numerator of the fraction in the mixed number, which is 5 to give us 47. So the numerator of our improper fraction is 47. And our improper fraction is 47 over 6. To find the reciprocal of 47 over 6, we just flip it. So the reciprocal is 6 over 47. We can summarize by stating that the reciprocal of 7 and 5 6 is 6 over 47, or 6 47ths. Here are some for you to try. Find the reciprocals of these three numbers. Pause the video, figure these out, and jot your answers down. Then resume the video and check your answers. To find the reciprocal of 37, we divide 37 by 1 to give us the fraction 37 over 1. To find its reciprocal, we just flip this fraction, and we get the final answer 1 over 37, or 1 37th. Now we'll find the reciprocal of 3 19 3 19 is already a fraction. So to find its reciprocal, we simply flip it. And the answer to this question is 19 over 3. But because 19 over 3 is an improper fraction, we can also convert it to a mixed number. 3 goes into 19 6 times. 6 times 3 is equal to 18, so the remainder is 1 third and the mixed number is 6 and 1 third. So we can state that the reciprocal of 3 19 is 19 over 3, or 6 and 1 third. Lastly, we need to find the reciprocal of the mixed number 2 and 5 30 seconds. Because it's a mixed number, we must convert it to an improper fraction. The denominator of the improper fraction is 32 and the numerator is 2 times 32, or 64, plus 5, 
which is equal to 69. So the improper fraction is 69 over 32. To find its reciprocal, we simply flip this fraction to get the final answer 32 over 69. Checking, we see that 32 and 69 cannot be divided by the same number other than 1, so we cannot simplify this fraction. It's really important to be able to find the reciprocals of numbers quickly and accurately. This skill is an important step in other mathematical operations, such as dividing fractions.